Welcome once again to Commander by Danon. Today's video was brought to us by Patreon supporter Roxy. Huge thanks to Roxy and the rest of my Patreon supporters. Roxy reached out asking for a deck led by Sigurd, Jarl of Ravensthorpe, and I was more than happy to build that for her. Also, and I know it's annoying to keep hearing this, but statistically, if I don't ask you to like and subscribe, the video gets fewer subscribers. Sigurd Jarl of Ravensthorpe is a 3-mana three 3-3 three, three legendary human warrior with Vigilance, Trample, and Lifelink. He also has Boast 1, which allows us to either add or remove a lore counter from target saga we control. Finally, whenever we put a lore counter on a saga we control, we put a plus one plus one counter on up to one other target creature. Other, of course, means Sigurd can't put the counter on himself. So we'll want other creatures to put counters on, as well as a whole bunch of sagas. And since sagas are enchantments, we'll probably want to run a few enchantresses to help with card draw. Also, Roxy specifically requested this deck have a budget of around $500, so this will not be a cheap deck. Apologies to your wallet. But before we get to our deck list, a quick word from our sponsor, Ultimate Guard. Years before this channel was sponsored by Ultimate Guard, they were always my number one choice when it comes to sleeves or deck boxes. Pick up Ultimate Guard products at your local game store, or order them on Amazon. Link down below. In order to build a functional commander deck, you need lots of different pieces, which is why I try to rely on my handy dandy checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, and 1 sudden I win card. Oh, one more quick announcement before we get started. I'm going to start streaming on Musings by Danon as well as Twitch again soon. It'll mostly be Final Fantasy XIV, but you're more than welcome to pop in and talk about Commander. Honestly, about half my streams are spent talking about manga, anime, or Commander. Our land base consists of Command Tower, Exotic Orchard, Wooded Foothills, Windswept Heath, Arid Mesa, Scalding Tarn, Verdant Catacombs, Marsh Flats, Jetmere's Garden, Stomping Ground, Temple Garden, Sacred Foundry, Spire Garden, Bountiful Promenade, Spectator Seating, Rockfall Vale, Overgrown Farmland, Sundown Pass, Rootbound Crag, Sun Petal Grove, Clifftop Retreat, Commercial District, Lush Portico, Elegant Parlor, Four Mountains, Five Forests, and Three Plains make up our land base. As I said, not a budget deck. For Mana Ramp, we've got Jukai Naturalist, Sanctum Weaver, Starfield Mystic, Jugan Defends the Temple, Azusa's Many Journeys, Dryad of the Elysian Grove, Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Farseek, Nature's Lore, Three Visits, Cultivate, and Kodama's Reach. A mix of on theme ramp and card advantage. For card advantage, we're running Wild Seer Scouring Maw, Fall of the First Civilization, Sithis Harvest's Hand, Satessan Champion, Eidolon of Blossoms, Fall of Gilgalad, Showdown of the Scalds, Seder Enchanter, Enlightened Tutor, Verduran Enchantress, Vorinclex, Enchantress's Presence, War of the Last Alliance, Brilliant Restoration, and Resurgent Belief. Gotta dig through our deck to find our combos, after all. For interaction and spot removal, we're running Arnie Slays the Troll, Elspeth Conquers Death, Fall of the Imposter, Swords to Plowshares, Return to Nature, Path to Exile, 
Battle at the Hellevault. Beast Within. Generous Gift. Boros Charm. Heroic Intervention. And Parallax Wave. Lots of ways to keep our opponents in line. For board wipes, we're running Farewell and Blasphemous Act. Simple but powerful. The core of our deck consists of Satsuki the Living Boar, Eivor Wolfkist, The First Iroan Games, Oath of the Oral, There and Back Again, Historian's Boon, Calyx Guided by Fate, Archon of Sun's Grace, Elishnorn, Tale of Tenuvial, The Red Terror, Starfield of Nyx, and Three Blind Mice. Supporting our plan, we're also running the Acer Escape Valhalla, Power Conduit, Yenna Red Tooth Regent, Weaver of Harmony, Vorinclax Monstrous Raider, Aggravated Assault, All Will Be One, and doubling season. Now that we have our deck list, let's compare it to our checklist. 49 mana sources split between 36 lands and 13 pieces of ramp. A little light, but our curve is fairly low, so it's fine. 15 pieces of card advantage. 12 pieces of interaction. 2 board wipes. 2 pieces of graveyard hate in farewell and return to nature. No sudden I win cards, but 4 game ending combos, which I will discuss. Keen-eyed players will probably have noticed them. Let's discuss the first one, which requires three pieces. Calyx Guided by Fate, Doubling Season, and Three Blind Mice. When Calyx deals combat damage to a player, he will trigger, creating two token copies of Three Blind Mice. Remember, Doubling Season is on board. The Three Blind Mice tokens enter the battlefield with two lore counters on them due to Doubling Season, triggering their first and second chapter abilities, as well as Calyx's first ability twice. We resolve both Calyx triggers, putting two plus one plus one counters on creatures we control. We then resolve the first three blind mice triggers, creating four one one mouse creature tokens. Then we resolve the next three blind mice triggers, creating two token copies of a three blind mice token. We then repeat this over and over again, creating infinite copies of any token we control. The next combo involves Sanctum Weaver and Aggravated Assault. We do need at least three other enchantments for this combo to work, but that shouldn't be a problem in this deck. We tap Sanctum Weaver, adding at least five mana to our mana pool. We then spend that mana to activate Aggravated Assault, untapping all of our creatures and giving us an extra combat step. We then repeat until we have enough combat steps or mana to win the game. Next up, the Red Terror combined with All Will Be One generates infinite damage. We simply need to put a counter on any permanent we control to trigger All Will Be One, which will trigger the Red Terror, which will trigger All Will Be One ad infinitum. The last combo, Parallax Wave combined with Starfield of Nyx, is probably the scariest. Parallax Wave enters with five fading counters. We remove a fade counter every upkeep, and if we can't, we sacrifice it. Additionally, we may remove a Fade counter to exile a creature until Parallax Wave leaves the battlefield. Starfield of Nex turns all enchantments we control into creatures, assuming we have at least five enchantments. So we can remove four counters from Parallax Wave to exile any four creatures, then wait a bit. We can then remove the fifth counter to exile Parallax Wave, exiling it and returning it to the battlefield. This can be used to protect our creatures from board wipes or spot removal, or keep our opponents annoying our game-ending creatures off the battlefield basically indefinitely. This is not a nice combo, but I'm sure Roxy will enjoy using it against her husband. We've got plenty of sagas in the deck to make creatures, draw cards, ramp us, or pump our team. And we've even got a couple of ways to return those sagas to the battlefield. I know that Roxy is going to have a blast with this deck. Are you building a Sigurd Yall of Ravensthrope commander deck? What's your secret deck tech? leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash Danan. 
You can have a video made or just ask for help building or tuning a deck list. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Waffles, Dryad, Danny, Muffins, Marcus, Brett, Roxy, Sean, Mark, Borgie, Naswin, Midge, Alex, Conga, Aaron, Chris, Robert, Austin, William, Pye, Turner, Triz, Kazara, Slack, and Dan. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos every weekday, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Dean.